Have you ever seen a photo where a person appears to be duplicated in one still shot? All these images are examples of photo compositing. Knowing how to shoot and then edit together a composite image is a valuable tool to have in your bag of tricks as a professional photographer, retoucher, or graphic designer. This video will walk you through the workflow of creating a composite image from shooting to retouching. To get started, you're going to need a camera with a timer function, a tripod, and a computer with Photoshop installed. First, go into your camera settings and make sure that your shot timer is set to 10 seconds or more. This will give you enough time to position yourself in front of the camera. Next, take a moment to make sure that your camera's image quality is set to shoot in the RAW format. Then, scout for a location to shoot your composite. If outdoors, a shaded area is best because it will minimize the change in light between shots if the sun is affected by a partly cloudy sky. Take some test shots and pre-visualize the different places that you plan to be in your final composite. Once you've figured out your composition for the shot, put your camera on a tripod and set it in place making sure everything is locked down tight. Your camera should not move from this position until you're done shooting. Make sure your camera's drive mode is set to the 10 second timer. Then you're ready to start shooting. As your last shot, take one more without you in it. This image is the most important because it will serve as the background for the whole composite. Check your images in camera to make sure you've captured what you wanted. At this point, you can reshoot if you see that you're out of frame or the camera has shifted between shots. These shots look good, so we're done shooting. Now use image capture to get the raw images off of your camera and onto your Mac. Then select all the images for the composite and open them up in Photoshop. They should all open in Adobe Camera Raw. Once they're loaded, look through your shots. Your shots may look perfect, but straight out of the camera, mine did not. So I decided to make adjustments with Adobe Camera Raw. If you find that one or more of your images doesn't match the lighting of the others, use the sliders in Camera Raw to make them match as best you can. For my shots, all the lighting looks the same, so I'll select all of the images by holding down the Shift key while clicking on the first and last images. Now when I move a slider, the changes happen to all the images at once. I've noticed that this area in the background is especially bright when compared to the rest of the image, so I'll take the highlight slider down first. To darken it even further, I'll bring down the whites slider as well. Finally, to brighten the whole scene, I'll bump up the exposure slider a little bit. There, that looks pretty good. To save these changes to the raw images, just click on the Done button at the bottom of the camera raw window. At this point, the rest of your editing should be done in Photoshop. From the menu, choose Scripts and Load Files into Stack. Browse for the photos that you just edited in Camera Raw and select them all. When you click OK, all of the edited pieces of your composite picture will load into Photoshop as separate layers. If you need to, 
Rearrange your layers so that the background shot with no one in it is the last or bottommost layer. The next step is to mask each layer so the subject shows and the background doesn't. Now, there are a bunch of ways to create a mask in Photoshop. Because we shot all these pictures on the same background, and our camera didn't move between shots, we have the luxury of using a rough masking technique, where we paint our masks by hand. Here's the process I used. First, I added a mask to the layer. Then I grabbed a soft paintbrush and painted with black on that layer mask. I painted over myself until I was completely masked out of the picture. Notice that I made sure to include any shadows that I cast that were not part of the original background shot. After painting myself out of the layer, I held down the Option key and clicked on the mask I just created. This allows you to see your work on the mask by showing just the mask by itself. Then I filled in any holes that I left unpainted, making the mask a solid black. Once done with that, I held down the Option key and clicked on the mask so that I could see all the layers again. Then I inverted the mask by selecting it and pressing Command-I so that the area I masked out became the only area masked in for that layer. After that, I went around the edges to touch them up and fix any weird spots that looked odd or out of place. I repeated this process four more times until my final composite was complete. Alright, that's all we need. So, with a tripod, a camera with a timer, and Photoshop, you can create shots like this too. Just imagine all of the creative possibilities photo compositing can bring to your work. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and happy shooting!